Hello everyone, Patton here. So, the day has come to find out if the Simpsons arcade game will run on the SNES Classic. This has been requested by many, many people. Uh, so I figured we'd get this one done. So first you want to do is find the game, and then add it. Add more games. Let's go through our list here. We're in the wrong section. Let's get to the right section. Go to our downloads. There we go. Okay. So we're looking for a Simpsons game. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Simpsons 2P. I believe this is a US two-player version of the Simpsons arcade game. So go ahead and do a search for Simpsons 2P. And I guarantee you're going to get the file that you're looking for. So we're going to hit open. You're going to get a list of files here. Click import as archive and then I'll add it to your games list. We're going to change the title. Simpsons arcade game. When you change the title it helps when you're looking for the box art when you go to Google it. And there we go, we got our box art. <clears throat> so now the core you want to use is going to be FBA 2012. I'm going to provide a link in the description to the cores required. Once again that's FBA 2012. You go to install extra modules. You're going to drag it over here and you'll see it right here, FBA 2012 is going to look like this. You just hit the check mark, hit OK to install. The program is going to ask you to hold reset while turning the power on. Then you continue to hold the reset button for a few seconds until you see a bar that starts to fill up. Once it fills up, that means that your custom module has been flashed over to the Super Nintendo and you can play the games. So we've added the game. We have our box art, change the name. Last thing we have to do is change the command line so it will run on the core that you just installed. So you see this slash bin slash zip. You're going to take out the zip and you're going to type in FBA 2012. So when you go to run it in your Super Nintendo, um, the, pro the RetroArch program will recognize to load that core and bring the game up. So that's all we do. Then we synchronize. It takes just one second. There we go. So now we should be all set. I'll see you guys over at the Super Nintendo. So here we are at our custom Super Nintendo Simpsons Arcade version. Alright, so if everything went well, this should boot up no problem. Highly requested. Probably the most highly requested. And for good reason. This is an excellent game. So we got our RAM ROM check, which is perfect. We got our, our borders, which means that <clears throat> there were no crashes. Oh man. Turn it down just a little bit. Bart loves to instigate. Homer. Bowling a big one. Lisa. Wailing on her saxophone, she does do that. And Marge and Maggie making tasty gelatin dessert or gelatin. Konami, yes. Let's hit select, get some quarters in there. Now, the screen looks a little cut off. I'm actually trying to point to it, but you know, camera. Um, you can fix that. Let's see if we can fix that real quick. If you hit start and select, you go into your RetroArch menu, and this is where you can do some like internal things. So if you go to settings, then video, you can do aspect ratio, custom, you can change that to different sizes. See, this will fit. Five, four, I think might be what we're looking for. So then you hit select and start again to get out of the system. It's still cut off a little bit, but like I said, you can play with that and get the the screen size that you want. We're going to be Bart because it's Bart and you enter the Simpsons game. So the plot is Smithers, for some reason, was trying to steal this diamond. Diamond falls into Maggie's mouth and he decides just to take Maggie with him because, you know, it's easier that way. So let's go get our sister back. Sounds good, looks good. 
feels like it plays just like it did in the arcade. I don't know who these guys are, just some random goons. This is cool if you go in front of a door. Yeah, you get smacked. And not just that door, it could be any door. So you got these little goons, you got you got this gentleman who's a little little thicker. A little thickness who takes a couple more hits. Yeah. Bartman. Don't forget the Bartman. There was a version uh, that came out where it was four players. I mean, you can play this four players in the arcade. Oh, now we got some big dudes in trench coats who don't actually do anything. Um, and you, you were stuck with, if you were on the, the first player, you put your quarter in the first player's spot, you had to be that character. You weren't allowed to change your character. So that's why I picked the two player version because it allows you to pick your character at a four. Because, you know, that makes sense. If you have a four-player version, then you're just stuck with whoever. Two-player, though, you know, out of four players, it, it allows you to pick who you want. Oh, I'll take that burger. Let's go for it, man. I don't know who this guy is. Was he even in the show? Was he a boxer or something? Yeah, I remember him being not not that easy in the arcade. He was a, oh, he was a quarter muncher. Let's take care of him real quick. Maybe not as quick as we hope. Because he, he counters you a lot, man. He gets on you. Oh, no. We need to continue. Speed with Homer. Super Homer. Homer's a big guy. He used to box, too. He was a pretty good boxer. I love, love that common theme with these, these arcade beat-em-ups, how the further in damage they get, the more the, the bosses blink. Yeah, see, look how bad I'm dying here. And it, it's not this system where the more quarters you add, it refills your health. You just get more quarters. Yeah, but this guy. Just being able to beat him was, was hard. Alright, let's give Lisa a try. The jump rope. You would have you would have thought that she would have used a saxophone. All right, we won. Awesome. Before this goes, I'm gonna see if I can find a good setting here to make this look better. Six five helps. Maybe eight seven. Eight seven will get everything in the screen at least. Feels like the top might be cut off though. I'm not sure because I don't remember exactly like everything. Bonus stage. This was always fun in the arcade, Ready? smashing the buttons. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I think we got this. Oh yeah, it saved it didn't pop. I remember, didn't it used to pop or float away or something? Maybe that happens after. There we go. I did remember that. I'm not getting too old where I'm forgetting everything. Crusty land. Save that for the next time. Okay, so there you go. Simpsons, highly requested game. Runs very well on the on the Super Nintendo Classic. Uh, FBA 2012 Core. Make sure you get that Simpsons two-player. Uh, I believe it was the U.S. version. Could be World. I don't remember. Um, try both of them. And that's it. Runs well. Go get that second player. Play two-player. Beat the game. I never beat this in the arcade, but I'm definitely going to do that now. So once again, thank you for watching. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can feel free to follow my Twitter at Patton Place. Or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, PattonPlaysGames at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time.